Hola estudiantes, me llamo Profe Fleming y soy profesora a Shakopee East Middle School. Hi, my name is Miss Fleming and I am the Spanish teacher here at Shakopee East Middle School. I teach Spanish 1 for 7th and 8th graders and Spanish 2 for 8th graders that have already completed Spanish 1. I've been teaching in Shakopee for 16 years and I absolutely love teaching here. I love the students, I love the other teachers here, I love everything about teaching in Shakopee. Uh, some things to know about me, I live in Shakopee. I have uh, three children that still live at home, Matthew, Samuel, and Noah. Um, I have two dogs, we have a Husky Shepherd, her name is Sasha, and we have a new puppy, She's a Cavachon, and her name is Maya. Um, in my free time, I like to go camping, um, sit outside in my backyard, read, watch TV, um, and hang out with friends. Some things to know about Spanish for this year. Uh, it's going to be really important, both with hybrid and potentially distance learning that you keep on top of your assignments. I know most of your teachers are probably saying this, um, but it's especially helpful in Spanish to stay um, on track uh, because if you get too far behind, it can feel very overwhelming um, and you can start to feel like you don't know what's going on and then it's hard to get caught up. Um, I also want you to know that I'm here to help you at every step of the way. So if you have any questions or you're confused about something, it's definitely better to ask sooner rather than later. A uh, couple tips for you to keep in mind as you study Spanish. Um, regular daily practice for a shorter amount of time is better than um, not practicing very often but for longer periods of time. So for example, if we're learning new vocabulary, it would be better to practice new vocabulary 10 to 15 minutes every day than it would be to practice for one hour on the weekend. Um, so please keep that in mind. Just like in elementary when you used to have to read for 15 to 20 minutes a night, it's kind of the same thing. Think about this as you're being in kindergarten of um, the Spanish world. And when you were in kindergarten and first grade and second grade, you had to have daily practice, especially when you were learning to read. This is kind of the same thing. So um, it's very easy to set the timer on your phone or your smartwatch or even the microwave and just set it for 10 to 15 minutes and review some of your vocabulary or your notes that we've recently taken. And I guarantee you that learning Spanish will be a lot easier if you do that regular practice. As I mentioned before, um, it's much better to let me know if you're struggling with something sooner rather than later. Um, I can help you more when we don't have to go back very far and we can just catch up on the current topic. Um, so please let me know when that happens. I hope that you all had a great summer. I hope that um, you're excited to come to school. Again, we're very excited to have you back here. And I look forward to meeting each and every one of you and looking forward to a great semester or year in Spanish. See you soon.